In this tutorial, we're going to be doing something different that I haven't seen on the web yet. But first, we're going to be creating some kind of nail polish sheet with acrylic paint. Uh, in the first one, we're going to be using yellow, peach, red, and steel blue. I'm gonna be using my silicone mat. First apply clear coat to the mat. Once the clear coat is dry, apply the paint to the makeup sponge and with this one apply the paint on top of the clear coat already dry. For the second mix of colors, we're going to be using red wine, peach, golden road. Once the acrylic paint is dry, seal it with another layer of clear coat. And if you wonder where I purchased that big bottle of clear coat, I found it in Sally's. Look how big it is. And for the third mix of colors, we're going to be using from the brand Pure Eyes the color Teal Appeal number 1094. We're going to be using also Sally Hansen the color Mellow Yellow number 349 or 360. And the mysterious green from Feblo that by mistake I didn't show you there but I'm very sure you're gonna see it very soon in the video And here I decided to use an image blue and um, I haven't seen that brand here in the US but I'm pretty sure you can find a nice blue to mix 
and I really like this blue because it brings up the colors in this mix and I don't know how to call this is kind of a mix of gradients probably um, but I just love it Here I made another mix of colors using like purple, red wine, white. For the fourth mix of colors we're gonna be using from the brand New York number 221 spring and the mysterious green that I was talking about at 560 from Revlon. I really wanted to bring more bright colors to the design so look at that isn't it beautiful and this is the third mix of colors that I showed you before I just made an extra And I decided to make another mix of colors using from Revlon nail polish number 450 hypnotic and my mysterious green from Revlon number 560 and again from Sally Hansen mellow yellow number Guys, I wanted to show you something peculiar. I was working outdoors with 45 degrees in temperature and I was having a little bit of trouble removing the nail polish sheet that I created on my silicone mat and I was really worried about it cracking I was thinking that I was gonna just destroy it and that it was gonna fall apart it was really dry until finally being really careful I I could remove it the second one didn't give me too much trouble but the third one look how it cracked it cracked at as dry leaves as dry leaves in fall And here's when I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with all this. I found these scrapbooks, mini punchers on eBay, and 
I thought, hmm, let me try something, let me try to introduce it to nail art. So the idea is take all this beautiful, colorful, gradient, nail polish sheets that we created and start making as many leaves as we can. And guys, here I was indoors with 70 degrees and look how all the sheets turn flexible with this temperature, all of them. So definitely when they said that if you want to dry your nails faster, put them in cold water, it definitely has to do something with the temperature. Look at them, they're all flexible again. Also the one that cracked, remember? Look how flexible it turned. So, this is a phenomenon. How else can I call it? Also the nail polish on my nails started to peel. Guys, this is it. These are all my beautiful and colorful leaves that I was able to create to be used in any design that I want. What do you think? Do you like it? Did you like the idea? If you like it, you know what to do. Thumbs up and I'll be using this for the next two nail tutorials so see you soon bye